When we think of deadly predators, plants usually aren't the first thing that comes to mind. After all, they're typically at the bottom of the food chain. But among the over 390,000 diverse species of plants, a select few have developed a surprising and rather gruesome appetite for flesh, specifically the flesh of insects, rodents, and in rare cases, even larger animals like squirrels and small monkeys. Most plants need just a few basic things to survive, sunlight, water, air, and nutrients, which they usually get from soil or pond water. These nutrients, like nitrogen and phosphorus, are essential for making DNA and proteins. However, many carnivorous plants grow in nutrient-poor areas, such as peat bogs. To get the nutrition they need, they supplement their diet by catching and digesting prey. Interestingly, the ability to trap and consume insects has evolved in different plants across the globe, leading to a fascinating variety of ways they capture their food. In no particular order, we will be looking at the world of nature's most fearsome flora as we explore the top 10 carnivorous plants. At number 10, we have the corkscrew plant. Unlike the other plants on this list, Ganlesia or corkscrew plant doesn't bother chasing bugs. Its main diets consist of protozoa and other microscopic animals, which it attracts, traps, and digests using its specialized leaves that grow under the water. These root-like underwater leaves are pale and long, sometimes up to 20 centimeters. This poisonous plant also has another batch of normal-looking green leaves that sprout above the ground and are used for photosynthesis. It is mostly found in the semi-aquatic regions of Africa and both Central and South America. Taking the ninth spot is the bladderwort plant, also known as Utricularia. The bladderwort genus consists of approximately 233 species that lives in fresh water and wet soil as terrestrial or aquatic species across every continent except Antarctica. It is a free-floating plant with no roots but has flowers and a rigid stem. Bladderwort is a carnivorous plant known for its unique bubble trap mechanism. Its underwater leaves have tiny traps with trigger hairs that sense when prey, like protozoa, touches them. Once triggered, the bubble opens and sucks in both the prey and surrounding water. This plant can only capture small creatures, but it's famous for being the fastest plant in the world in terms of its trap speed. Number 8. We have the sundew plant, also known as Drosera. It is one of the largest genera of carnivorous plants, with at least 194 species. It's easily noticed during the summer thanks to its small white flowers growing on long flower stalks. It lures, captures, and digests insects using stalked mucilaginous glands covering their leaf surfaces. It has hairy leaves that release liquid-like dangerous glue rich in digestive enzymes. Insects are attracted by the glue and trapped by the hairs in the leaf surfaces. The enzymes then begin to digest their prey. Undigested food later falls on the ground. The leaves then take the usual form. The hairs are covered with sticky juice and a new hunt begins. Various species of Drosera, which vary greatly in size and form, are native to every continent except Antarctica. Next at number 7, we have the tropical pitcher plant. It is among the different types of pitcher plants that create some of the largest carnivorous plants in the world. The giant pitcher inhabits the tropical forests of Malaysia, China, and Indonesia. Researchers notice monkeys often drink rainwater from it, hence it was given the nickname monkey cup. The Nepenthes is well designed to catch unsuspecting insects and small vertebrates. It has modified leaves known as pitfall traps. It is a prey trapping mechanism featuring a deep cavity filled with digestive liquid. The pitchers in their walls have sweet nectar and wax producing glands. Nectar lures the prey while smooth wax slides them in. The fluid absorbs and digests the prey and the plant ingests the nutrients. At number 6, we have the Cobra Lily. Although the name Cobra Lily may paint the image of a female King Cobra in your minds, but in reality, it's actually a cute-looking pitcher plant. Like other carnivorous plants, it grows in places with very poor soil nutrients and other sustenance means. Its name is derived from its snake-like appearance, and the similarities don't dish to any there. Just like a snake, it prefers its food living. It is quite an ingenious plant that not only entices insects with sweet secretions that slips down its wall, but also has numerous false exits. Once inside, the insect is broken down by the digestive fluids and the plant absorbs the nutrients. Before we continue, the best way you can support our channel is by liking and smashing the subscribe button. This simple act is what motivates us to keep putting out entertaining nature videos. At number 5, we have the rainbow plant. Biblis liniflora, also known as the rainbow plant, is native to northern Australia. 
It is a very delicate annual carnivorous plant that produces sticky droplets to catch prey. The droplets glisten in the sunlight, producing an array of colors. It flowers profusely and self-pollinates, producing an abundance of seed. The name Byblis comes from Greek mythology. The story is told that Byblis, the granddaughter of Apollo, fell in love with her twin brother. When he rejected her, she wept so many tears she turning into a spring. Unsuspecting prey that lands on Byblis liniflora get snagged in the teary slime and die in the plant's embrace. Next at number 4, we have the Rorajula, also commonly called a juice stick or vlibos. Native to South Africa, Rorajula is a simple carnivorous plant but with a symbiotic twist. It has leaves with glands that exude a very sticky resin-based glue like the sundew, but it does not have digestive enzymes. The plant hosts symbiotic Pameridia rorijulae assassin bugs which roam the plants to prey on captured bugs. You may be wondering how the rorijula really benefit. Well, the bug absorbs and digests the insects and release nutrient-rich excretions which the rorijula later absorbs. Do you think this plant is evil by trapping food it doesn't eat? Moving on at number 3 we have the water wheel plant. This undoubtedly ruthless, magnificent, carnivorous aquatic plant uses a trap to eat small water vertebrates. Its leaves are in whorls and the leaf tips are fitted with scoop-like traps. It catches animal prey through an active trap mechanism. Traps snap shut when triggered by prey. Traps number up to 200 per plant and researchers estimate that up to 80% of the traps may contain prey at any given time. These traps catch untold numbers of insects and other animals, giving scientists great concern about water wheels effect on food webs and rare invertebrate species. It is native to Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, Japan and Korea. At number 2, we have the butterwill, also known as pinguicula. This green predator can also be found in habitats similar to that of the sundew. It has large tapered leaves covered with glossy glue-like mass. The butterwort's hunting process and nutrition is also similar to the sundew. Insects such as fruit flies and gnats mistake the glossy glue-like mass for water. They then stick to the mass and are wrapped inward for the digestive secretions to digest the prey. The plant absorbs the attained minerals and the leaf unfolds waiting for new guests. There are about 80 species of these plants that eat insects in America, Europe and Asia. Finally, at number 1, we have the Venus flytrap. This green monster catches its prey mysteriously without any special equipment. It grows in the humid temperature climates on the Atlantic coast of the USA. The Venus flytrap seems to have its own mind and knows the difference between a living creature and something else. And when an insect is caught, the trap remains closed for the food to be completely digested. By the way, this wonder plant can be purchased in flower shops for house decoration and gardens and getting rid of annoying insects such as flies. Which of the featured carnivorous plants do you think tops the list? Let us know in the comment section. Also, let us know which plant you would like to be featured next. Thanks for watching.